This video has been brought to you by Data Vinci Analytics Agency. So basic definition, tag is nothing but a snippet of code. It is just a piece of code. Where do you get that piece of code? You get that piece of code from your tool provider. Okay. So the tag for any tool you will get from your tool provider, which if you place properly on your website, that would enable you to install that respective tool on your site. So for example, this is a tag for Google Tag Manager. This code you will get from Google Tag Manager's admin. And if you install this code, this tag on all the pages on your website, you would be able to install Google Tag Manager on your site. Okay, so this is what is called a tag. Another example, this is a tag for Facebook Pixel. So this tag you will get from Facebook interface your Facebook admin. And if you install this tag on all the pages on your site, you would be able to enable Facebook pixel tracking on your website. All right. Now the question comes that when we use Google tag manager, now there also there are tags. Okay. But those tags uh, look different from the code snippet that I'm just telling. So why are those tags different? So understand this thing that behind the scenes, Google Tag Manager also places the code snippets only for the featured tags. So there are certain tags that are already available in Google Tag Manager and there are certain tags that you need to put as custom HTML snippets. We'll discuss that in some time. So for featured tags, GTM makes it easy for you to install the respective tools by handling a part of the code snippet. So you only need to provide certain fields in the form that is there in the tag and the behind the scenes, the uh, requirement of the code snippets are handled by Google Tag Manager. For non-featured tags, you still need to put the codes in the custom HTML tag. So let's look at uh, Google Tag Manager now. Before moving towards uh, Google Tag Manager, you can consider joining our group, Digital Optimization League on Facebook. It's a free group for digital analytics community. We discuss uh, things around digital analytics, uh, tag management, data visualization, and most of the recent digital analytics updates and, uh, you know, in general, geek on optimization. All right. Okay, so now we are in Google Tag Manager. So over here, we have something called tags as well. And uh, if we click on a new, then we will see a list of tags. Now you see these are featured tags. Okay. Now you can actually call all these as featured tags as well, because uh, the code handling part to a great extent would be handled by Google Tag Manager on your behalf. So uh, any of the tags which are featured tags, you can simply select from here and provide the account details and other things that are part of the form field that is automatically generated for you. So for example, here, this is the form field. You can put the settings over here and this tag would be enabled for you. Other than that, if you want to install any tag, which is not present over here. So understand this thing, not all the tags in the world are present over here. Okay. So for example, you cannot find Facebook tag at the time of creation of this video. So if you want to create a Facebook pixel, you want to enable Facebook tracking through Google tag manager, then you need to go to custom HTML and the two, the tag that uh, you get from Facebook, which I showed earlier as well in the, in the presentation that you need to paste over here. So any tags for which you do not find the the feature in, in the feature tag so that you need to install via the custom HTML. Okay. So I hope you now understand what is a tag just a revision tag is nothing but it's a snippet of code that you get from your tool provider and that you need to put on appropriate places on your website and that would install that particular tool for you. All right.